Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to reduce fractions into lowest terms. So we are reducing to lowest terms today. What to expect? We're going to talk about reducing fractions, or making equivalent fractions. Then we're going to talk about the greatest common factor, and then reducing fractions into lowest terms. So let's get started reducing fractions. To reduce a fraction into lower terms, all you need to do is divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor. So here's an example. If I have the fraction of 2 over 4, and I want to reduce that into a lower term, what I need to do is to find a factor of both 2 and 4 and divide the numerator and denominator, so the top and bottom of the fraction, by that number. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a factor. They have a factor of 2. Both of these numbers have a factor of 2. So we'll go ahead and say I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and that reduces down to 1 half. All right? Here's another example, 9 over 12. They have a factor of 3. So I can divide the top and bottom evenly by 3, and that will give me a new fraction that is equivalent but written in lower terms. Let's try another one, 12 over 18. If you want to pause and try and figure out some factors of 12 and 18, um, for this activity I'm just going to go ahead and use the factor of 2. I divide the top and bottom by 2, and that gives me 6 over 9. Now I'm going to take that fraction of 6 over 9, and I know that they are both divisible by 3, so I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 3 to give me 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. So this is what reducing fractions is. It's basically, you just make sure that whatever you're dividing the top or the numerator by, you divide the, the denominator by that same number. It's really important. That's a super important step. Changing gears. Greatest common factor review. So if I have a fraction of 4 over 12, the way that I find the greatest common factor is that I list the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator is 4, so I'm going to list the factors of 4. In other words, the numbers that would multiply together to give me 4. Remember, we did this by doing a rainbow 1 times 4, 2 times 2. Um, but you can do it in any way, as long as you're listing the factors, every factor of um, the number. Here are all the numbers that multiply together to give you 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Those are all of the factors. Okay. Now, because this is a review on greatest common factor, let's go ahead and identify the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is the largest number that is a factor of both of those numbers, in this case, 4. 4 is the greatest common factor. It's a factor of both 4 and 12. We also see that 2 is a common factor, but it's not the greatest common factor, so we did not identify 2. Now what we're going to do is use all the things that we've talked about to get our fractions into lowest terms. Step one, list the factors of the numerator and denominator. Two, identify your greatest common factor. And then you're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. That reduces your fraction into being lowest terms. Let's do it. If I have 8 over 36, I'm going to list the factors of the numerator and denominator. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. The factors of 36, there's a couple more of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now I need to identify the greatest common factor. Can you do that? What is the greatest, largest factor that is both a factor of 8 and 36? See, that number is 4. All right, so I'm going to now go to the next step, which is to divide both the top and bottom of my fraction by 4 by that greatest common factor. And that gives me a fraction, a new fraction of 2 over 9. This is my fraction in lowest terms. I have now reduced my fraction to lowest terms. So those are the steps right there. Let's do one more. You can pause the recording for this one if you'd like um, and try and do it on your own. Or you can follow along or you can do both. I'm going to list the factors of the numerator and the denominator. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. There's not a lot. 
I have to identify the greatest common factor, the factor of both 3 and 9, and that is 3. Now I'm going to take that number and I'm going to divide the top and bottom of this fraction, or the numerator and denominator, by 3. That reduces my fraction down to 1 third. Okay, this is how we reduce a fraction to lowest terms. Um, what this looks like, I wanted to show this just to um, sort of show what this looks like. That's the fraction of 3 ninths. That's the fraction of 1 third. They're the same. It's the same amount. It's just written in a more simplified form. That's why we also sometimes call this simplifying fractions. All right? So a quick recap. We reduced fractions. We found the greatest common factor. And then we reduced fractions down to lowest terms. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.